I'm doing an eyelash tutorial today. Hey, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you haven't been been here before. <laughs> Now today, I'm going to be doing another sort of makeup tutorial, but this is going to be more in-depth on eyelashes because I've been asked before to do like a an eyelash tutorial and I've done a little bit in other videos, but I've never really gotten like down and deep with it, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. So let's just get right to it. Um, I actually started, because I can't do it on camera, I started uh, with eyeliner. I use, um, it's called like Tartist or something uh, from Tarte. I use the gel side of that, which I just get, actually I get a lot of this at Sephora. No, obviously I'm super pale, so I have to... <laughs> I'm recording a video. <laughs> when it comes to foundation, concealer, eyebrow, pencils, that kind of thing, I usually get them at Sephora because they actually carry shades that work for me and my pale skin and my blonde hair. Um, when it does come to eyelashes, I can usually buy them somewhere like, I don't know, Walgreens. Um, these are just the simple kiss lashes or what I use. This is in a poise. I tend to mix it up and... Um, get different ones every time I buy them just to see what I really like but I always get the Kiss brand because I just really like that. Same with my uh, Strip Lash Adhesive. I get Kiss as well. This is a um, it dries clear so you can't really see it and this does truthfully dry clear. A lot of them say they do and they actually don't but um, or at least they make your eyelashes look shiny. This is also, I didn't realize that a lot of them do have latex in them. This is latex free because a lot of people do have the allergy. Um, so actually after I do my eyeliner, I'm going to put on some, I usually do eyeliner and then, uh, what's this called? Eyeshadow. Um, because a lot of times my eyeliner is a little bumpy and eyeshadow can make it look better. Uh, this is Estee Lauder. Um, I'm gonna do, I really like this shimmery gold one in the middle. So that would be, that's called Naked Gold, right in the middle, and I'm just gonna kind of put it on the outer edges because I'm just doing something, like this is just a really um, simple look because I do have to go to work after this and I don't like to have a ton of makeup on when I go to work. So these are also both Estee Lauder. You don't have to use a mascara primer. I didn't for a really long time, but this one came with it, so I really like to use it. Um, so this is Little Black Primer. It just kind of tints your eyelashes a little bit. Mascara is really, it is important to put it on before putting on the eyelashes as well. I feel like there was a reason behind that. I don't remember what it is. But I do know it just kind of lifts your eyelashes a little bit. It makes them just stick into place a little better. And yeah. Okay, so there's the primer. And then if I were to do just mascara, I would put it on differently. But when I am going to be wearing eyelashes, I just kind of coat it over a little bit. Um... I have pretty short eyelashes too, so they can be really hard to see without mascara. So I really like to put it on when I'm not not using eyelashes. Okay, so like I said, uh, kiss eyelashes in this is poise. You have to very carefully take them off or it will tear them. So before, I've already um, cut these ones, but before you do put them on you need to make sure to um, to like align them with your eye so that you know where to cut off because you do need to make them shorter or it'll kind of like hang off the end which doesn't look very good um, or it'll be like stabbing your inner corner of an eye which is really painful so make sure to always cut 
the longer end that way th they'll still look more natural than if you cut the inner end and then they're all kind of it just looks wonky like that okay so I'm gonna take my kiss strip lash adhesive if we can maybe ah there we go I'm gonna take that okay try to find a place to set it where it won't leak okay and I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna go over the edges really well because they're the more likely to fall off um, and just cover that whole part and then we're gonna wait about 20 seconds to where the glue is no longer like wet but it's sticky so sometimes I kind of like to bend them just a little bit so they can fit your eye just a little bit better so we're waiting for the glue to get tacky and then this is the tricky part I like to grab it in the middle some people use there are applicators that you can use with it that can make it easier to put on some people also use tweezers I really just like to use my fingers so I have a mirror down here that's what I'm looking into and you just go and press it right in the middle try not to get it stuck to your actual eyelashes because that'll be really painful taking off so just stick in the middle first there and then we're gonna take the outer edges I usually start with the end so that you can still kind of slide it over if you need to and stick it doesn't want to stick stick it and just kind of hold it there for a couple of seconds so that it stays stuck and then the inner part you can go and just stick that right in there that one you also might need to hold for there for a couple of seconds because it can be difficult okay So we just stick that right on there and then I like to continue for a little bit just pressing that make sure it's stuck to my eyelid and not my eyelashes okay so there's one set now I'm just gonna really quickly put on the other side and we are gonna do the exact same thing on the other side we just did on this side obviously so Okay, now the hardest part is over. We have them on and set into place. Now we're gonna take our lash adhesive again. And if I'm only gonna be wearing them for just a little bit, not very long, but I am wearing them to work tonight. And I'll be, I know I'll be sweating because I work in the Brendan house, which if you don't know what that is, it's a nursing home. I deliver food to the patients at the hospital, or it's a nursing home connected to the hospital. Uh, it's just really really hot in there so I tend to sweat so I need to make sure these little suckers are not gonna fall off so in order to do that I'm gonna take some more of the adhesive adhesive how do you say that word okay um, let me know do you pronounce the H in adhesive or not okay so we're going to do this really carefully because we do not want to get the um, this glue onto the ends of the eyelashes. But we're just really going to quickly go over that. And it starts out white but it does clear, or it does dry clear. So don't worry about that. But also you have to make sure not to use too much otherwise it just looks kind of glossy on your eyelids and it looks kind of silly so once again because those ends can pop right off I like to just push the eyelashes make sure they're really stuck on there because I do not want the end just popping off or something okay so now I'm going to do same thing on the other side and this one the inside is actually already coming off because I I waited a little too long, I think, 
to um, put them on. Okay. So I'm going to put a little extra right at that inner part there because it is coming off. And I'm just going to make sure that it gets stuck there. And if there is, if you do put on too much glue, I can just, I'll, <laughs> I think you, it would be smarter to take a uh, Q-tip and kind of clean that up if you did put too much glue. I like to just use my fingers. So, just really make sure that's stuck on there. Okay, so there it is on. And now a lot of people t forget or skip this part and it's actually really important to make sure you put on mascara to blend those fake eyelashes with your real eyelashes. Definitely don't use too much mascara because it w does lengthen um, the fake ones and I mean it's just me personally I don't like them looking too long otherwise they look kind of Muppety? Like, yeah. Alright, and that is my whole tutorial on how to apply fake eyelashes. And my laundry is done. Okay. So, thank you so much for watching. Please check out some of my other videos. I do do full makeup tutorials. Please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell to check when I do upload things. To people that do pay attention, like my little sister Emily, I know that she play, pays real good attention to how often I upload <laughs> and reminds me to do it. I don't think I've uploaded at all this entire semester and I'm so sorry for that. Uh, it's been a really intense semester. I had four classes and they were all just really difficult. Uh, but it, I'm on summer vacation now! So, um, thank you so much for waiting somewhat patiently. <laughs> for a new upload and I'm so sorry that I haven't gotten it done um, but yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video